Hello friends, myself Dhruvil Patel and I am going to teach you about Pascal's law. So Pascal law is used to measure a pressure at a point on a fluid. It is one type of proof of pressure at a point. As we know that pressure at a point means when one fluid is submerged in a water, at that time on that fluid, the water pressure occurs. So the pressure is equal to force upon area. Okay. So pressure is also known as intensity of pressure. Now, hence, Pascal's law has proved something that we saw today. Okay. So what the Pascal's law is saying. So let's start with the Pascal's law as shown here. The statement of Pascal's law is the pressure or intensity of pressure at any point in a static fluid is equal in all direction. Means it says that if a pressure is occur on a fluid at various points, okay. So in the end, the pressure is equal at all the points that is stating. So let's check how this is going to be proved. So for that, this wedge shaped triangle we have considered. Okay, so starting, to consider a wedge shaped liquid element A, B, C, D, E, F as shown in figure. The figure is this. In here, the wedge shaped triangle is so that A, B, C, D, E, and F. So it has three planes. The first one is horizontal plane, second one is vertical plane, and this one is diagonal plane. So at horizontal plane, the pressure occurring is P1. At vertical plane, the pressure occurring is P2. And at diagonal plane, the pressure occurring is P3. Hence, we know that intensity of pressure, P1, the intensity of vertical pressure on the element. P2 shows the intensity of horizontal pressure on the element of liquid. Means on vertical, on horizontal plane, the vertical force is occurring. On vertical plane, the horizontal force is occurring. And on P3, the intensity of pressure on the diagonal. Okay. So hence, pressure intensity is equal to total pressure upon area. The equation is this, small p is equal to capital P by A. Small p shows the intensity of pressure, capital P shows the total pressure, and A stands to area. So we can also write the equation in form of this, that total pressure is equal to intensity of pressure into area. Why? Because we need to find the total pressure at various point, various point like this, one horizontal, second, and third. So now this is the figure which is in three dimensional and in beside that it is in two dimensional. Okay. So let us first of all we know that this is the two dimensional figure A, B, C, and A C. The A, A C will be the hypotenuse, A B is the closest side, and B C is the farthest. Okay. So Let's find the side AB and BC. So first of all, the BC is the farthest side. So sine theta is being used. So your sine theta is equal to BC by AC. Okay, farthest side beside uh, tens, uh, ratio of farthest side to the uh, diagonal means hypotenuse. So we can write the BC is equal to AC sine theta. Likewise, cos theta is equal to AB by AC. So AB is equal to AC cos theta. So two sides we have find, which is BC and AB. Why we have find this? We let you know later. So in here, starting with the derivation, means uh, proving that in this figure, a wedge shape fluid is fluid element is shown. And in two dimensional, a single two-dimensional plane is shown of this portion A, 
B, C, and D. So, and the DS is the width. Okay. So, total pressure on face A, B, E, F. A, B, E, F means this portion. A, B, E, F, which is P1, A, B, D, S. Okay, P1, A, B, D, S. So P1 is the, likewise, the earlier, the equation we saw that total pressure is equal to intensity of pressure into area. Okay, so here, total pressure is equal to P1 is equal to intensity of pressure and A, B, D, S means the area. A, B into D, S means width into length. Okay, so A, B into D, S. So P1 into A, B into D, S on A, B, E, F. Likewise, total pressure on face B, C, D, E, which is P2, B, C, D, S. And total pressure on face A, C, D, F, the diagonal one, P3, A, C, D, S. Now, we have by, by shown in figure that the vertical pressure is P1, A, B, D, S. And the horizontal is P2, B, C, D, S. Now, P3 is the diagonal one. And we need to convert this force into horizontal one and the vertical one for the further calculation. That's why the diagonal P3 is CDS. Here is shown in 2D figure the theta. So the theta will be same here also. So that's why the theta will be here on the vertical portion as well as on the, this is the horizontal portion. So the vertical one is the closest one. So it will be multiplied by cos theta. So the equation will be like this, P3 AC cos theta DS. And the horizontal one is the farthest from the theta. That's why it will be P3 AC sin theta DS. So now we have convert this P3 AC DS, the diagonal pressure into horizontal and vertical both. Now resolving the forces. So for that, first of all, take horizontal forces, okay? In horizontal forces, the sum of all horizontal force is equal to zero, okay? The summation of all horizontal force is equal to zero. This is the condition. So that there are two types of horizontal forces. First one is P2 BC DS, and the another one is P3 AC sin theta DS. Both are opposite to each other. So that we can write like this. P2 BC DS is equal to P3 AC sin theta DS. Okay. Opposite. That's why it is equal to both are in the opposite side. So DS, DS will get cancelled. Okay. So we will see in this equation P2 BC is equal to P3 AC sin theta. Now, in the above slide, we have proved that BC is equal to AC sin theta. So in the place of AC sin theta, we can put the value BC. That's why the equation will be like this. P2 BC is equal to P3 BC. Now BC, BC will got cancelled and the equation will be like this. P2 is equal to P3. Hence, here it is proved that P2 is equal to P3. This is the equation one. Likewise, now take summation of all vertical forces. And in summation of all vertical forces, P1 AB DS is equal to P3 AC cos theta DS. The vertical one. This one. Okay. And the, this one. Both are opposite to each other. That's why we have write like this. So the DS DS will got cancelled. So the equation will be written like this. P1 AB is equal to P3 AC cos theta. After that, we have also proved this also in the above slide that AB is equal to AC cos theta. So instead of AC cos theta, we can put the value AB. So the equation will be like this. P1 AB is equal to P3 AB. Now we can write the equation like this. P1 is equal to P3. Hence, this is also proved that P1 is equal to P3. So on the basis of equation 1 and equation 2, we can say that P1 is equal to P2 is equal to P3. Hence, it is proved, the statement is proved that 
the pressure or intensity of pressure at any point in a static fluid is equal in all direction not that we are taking static fluid it is not for incompressible compressible it is only for the static fluid so this one is a static wedge shaped triangle we have taken three points the first one is this the second one is this and the third one is this so we have measured individually pressure each side p1 p2 and p3 after comparing after summation of all forces we proved that at any point the pressure is equal in all direction so this was the pascal's law i hope you all understand okay so that's it for today okay bye